Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to basically um add color change to any overlay. Like you see this over this five overlay on my screen right now. I'm gonna show you how to add color change to it real quick. So this is gonna be a real simple tutorial. So if this helps you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. That will be appreciated. Let's get straight to it. Which first thing you want to do is go to Adobe. And if you already got a project, open this uh, close that project real quick. What we're gonna be doing go to new composition. And whatever duration your original overlay is, you just want to keep the same duration. And we're going to hit OK after we got that straightened out. So the first thing we want to do is go to File, Import. After we do this right here, we're just going to go to wherever we got the overlay from. And we're just going to type it in. And we're going to bring it up in here. So we're going to do Dragon. Well, I just done my overlay. but And for the background, you want to be transparent, non-transparent. I like to have mine like this right here so I can see the glow like out of the saber or whatever. But... It's up to you if you want to have yours transparent. I just keep mine like that. So what you want to do is go to fix the presets at human saturation. So after we do this, we just want to um basically hit U. We're going to click that clock on the channel range, hit U. And then we're going to go all the way to the end, drag this around in a circle, and come back to one. Now you can type this in like this too if you don't want to do the, all the dragging or whatever. But I just do the uh, dragging, you feel me? And then... We hit you when we did that to the end. And I got my little keyboard up there too, trying to help y'all out, show y'all where to go or whatever. But yeah, and then you just let it go, uh, play. And obviously, I'm going to render it and show you the overlay also so you can see how it look with the color change. But I'm going to show you how to render it real quick and bring it in uh, and show you an OBS. So we want to go export, add to media and code to queue. And if I'm talking too quick and you got to slow the video down, it's something I do understand because I do be talking quick sometimes. But yeah so make sure you have this on quick time make sure you have this old this right here now i never tried the maximum bit depth it probably look better to be honest but i'm just having my own that so after we do this click this and then you want to go to seagate and we're gonna do dragon i'm just naming dragon color change it's crazy i ain't never made myself overlay i and i made all these other overlay i ain't never made myself overlay but you just want to um start the queue and we're gonna let that render now this should render quick because i already made the overlay when you add color change to it it usually don't take that long to render like it just render quickly for some reason so feel me i can just sit here and watch this render but hey while we sit and watch this though what y'all think about my hair bro i'm trying to get waves low key and they telling my junk overloaded <laughs> down there my junk probably lagging but yeah bro if you know how to get waves y'all need to put me on free i cut out my hair but and the jump should be by done. Let's see. All right, bet that jump by done. So what we're going to do, this work for Screenlabs and OBS. And I do have a whole tutorial dedicated how to put an overlay on, you feel me? And, yeah, that video is in depth how to put an overlay on, bro. But you just want to add this, go to loop. And you want to browse it or whatever. And let that load up. You feel me? Or you can type it in. Hit OK. Boom, you got your color change over there. I'm gonna turn this off because I think it look better with a black background. But it should look something like this. And you just let the overlay play out, you feel me? Now, I don't know what look better. My overlay with CC light or without CC light. I, I think it look better without like this, the CC light going across. But yeah, that's basically how you color change it. And like I say, if you if your jump be lagging when it's color change, you can just go down here and turn your speed down. I wouldn't really go past 50. When we go past 50, it kind of look awkward a little bit. Like, it look unnatural when it be moving. Even 75 look a little bit weird. But, like, that should help you if you're jump lagging. But, obviously, I just keep mine at um, 100, you feel me? I don't really be having to turn mine down. So, but that's how you make it. You know, i track a little bit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Me and boy Dragon, I'm going to let this play out real quick. But, yeah. Peace out. Being your boy Dragon. Let's get it.